Welcome to Get the Word in Your Face International. This is Pastor Cheryl Jackson coming to you with a word from the Lord. My God is forever faithful. He is good. His mercy truly does endure forever. He is with us. He is to us. He is through us. He is for us. And He will strengthen us with His strength in the inner man when we come to Him. When we pour our heart out to Him. When we say, Lord God, You are God. Thank You for Your Son, Jesus Christ. Thank you for giving us life and peace, even when it doesn't look like what we want it to be. We call those things that be not as though they are, because they are. God has put us in the heavenly places with his son, Jesus Christ. We're seated there with him, in him. And he's given us all spiritual blessings in the heavenly realm for whatever we ask for in the name of Yeshua Jesus we would have it because it glorifies God that we bear much fruit. It glorifies the Father. It glorifies the Lord Jesus Christ. See, you know, the Lord's name is on us. He is with us and He is to us and He is through us. He's on our mind. He, he knows our, our life from the beginning to the end. He has a day and an hour and a, and a path planned out for us before the foundation of the world each and every person on the planet god says come i, I have a plan for your life a plan of success a, a, a plan not of evil but of life the life that i intended all mankind to have now, i know that sin is in this world and we have to walk through this place but as long as we walk through this place not being stained with the world anymore leaving the things behind us that are behind us when we see when we receive jesus christ we begin to learn about him we begin to know him and we are transformed by the renewing of our mind when we come to him i mean just reading and eating and drinking the table i hope you get me that god has set before us if you read your word you already know you think about psalm 23 when he's saying, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. That means he lacks nothing because he understands who he depends on for everything. He's given his life to the one who has supplied all of his need. He, okay. Psalm 23, right? The Lord is my shepherd, I, I lack nothing at all. He leads me, he makes me to lie down in green pastures you gotta imagine that god makes me to lie down in green pastures he leads me beside the still waters why do i like the king james version on these parts because there's a resistance in us to actually lay down he gives us a little pressure and we and we lay down on the ground in this green pasture we find out that he's got power and peace that surpasses all understanding we can rest in him we can trust him we can let all of our heart and all of our mind go we can be completely his he's our abba okay back to psalm 23 right so yea though i walk through the no no we're not there yet right so he makes us to lay down in green passes he leads us beside the still waters he restores my soul he leads me in paths of righteousness, not for my name's sake, but because of his own name. His name is inscribed in us. If we have received Jesus Christ, we belong to him. We're no longer our own. We don't owe anything to this world. We owe nothing to any man, woman, or child, but to love them the way that Christ has loved us, the way that the Father of heaven and earth has loved us. And He, believe me, he loves us. All right, Psalm 23. He restores our soul. Yay. It's not really yay. <laughs> okay, I got to walk through this valley of the shadow of death, and nothing feels right. It's dark. It's gloomy. It's scary. But greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. Right? So, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. 
See, when we understand the living God, when we see him for who he is, when we take time to sit down with him and let him be our refuge, let him be our strength, let him be the teacher it, it just, that shows us himself, we'll understand what true fear really is. Fear is the situation that we're in that's trying to rip our body apart, trying to take our mind away from us and to take all of our privileges away. That's not true fear. True fear is facing the living God. It's written. Fear is knowing. When you, I mean, when you really look at him and when you really know him, you understand true fear. So everything that we're facing today, if we really know him, we would give it to him and we would understand why it says, I will fear no evil. Because the Father says that no weapon formed against you will prosper. He, he's the one who created the, that, that enemy. And that enemy has no power over the word of God. Remember, the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. And they tried to kill him. But see, Jesus had the power to lay down his life and pick it up again. And nothing by any means was going to negate that. It couldn't take that away from him. But they thought they could. So they tore down his body, but his body got up on the third day. He got back up. Jesus went down into Sheol and he preached down there. He took the keys from the one who had the keys to death. And he frightened every man and said, you have no eternity. But God sending his own son in the likeness of this sinful flesh, he overcame this 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 body that we feel everything with, that we see everything with, that we hear everything with, that we determine everything with. He overcame the flesh, the devil, and the world. This word of God transformed our lives as we are today. Here we are, delivered by the Son of God into a true freedom that we would know if we would spend time with the living God. If we would seek Him, we would find Him. He would reward you with knowledge and wisdom. We have an everlasting life in, with Him forever. I said it before, that everybody has everlasting life. It's just a matter of where you're going to spend it. Will you keep your soul Will you have possession of your own soul or will you sell it to the devil who's going into the lake of fire? Revelation chapter 10, chapter 20, verse 10. And to see, we'll end up going with him if we get delight in his food that he feeds. His food comes out of the world. That's where he is prince. He's a prince there. The greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. Jesus Christ has destroyed the works of the enemy. He came to destroy the works. His word, he who is the word, has destroyed the works. And he's brought us into the kingdom of God, the kingdom of light. And now we are the children, the offspring of Jesus Christ, the children of God. We've inherited it in a possession that is the, that we couldn't get on our own with our own think, thinking. We couldn't get it out of just out of anything that we did. But by faith in Jesus Christ alone. And we didn't have to do anything but believe that God is and come and sit down in the water of this word and begin to drink it up and allow him to be the captain, the bishop of our soul, our mind, will, and emotions. He taught us how to lay down. He restored our soul. So, okay. Yea, though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I will fear no evil. And again, the reason that we don't fear evil is because he is with us. He is with us and we acknowledge him in all of our ways. We acknowledge him in everything, everywhere we are in everything that we do. He is with us. When we eat, he is with us. Father, thank you for this food. We bless it in the name of Jesus Christ. Help me not to eat too much and that my delight remain 
in you. In Jesus' name, amen. Look, it's not just the food, but we, I don't want to negate that. I, want, I don't want to leave that out. I want to get every single thing that I do, I want it to be in the presence of the Lord. If there's anything that I've got to hide from Him, here's where the struggle comes. But we've learned to stay here in this presence. It's where the pressure came at the beginning. We, we were made to lay down in green pastures. It was pressure. Pressure from this physical body. Pressure from this mind of ours. Our mind, will, and emotions. It said, no, don't do it that way. Get up. God who is invisible, who we cannot see wants us to come to him in spirit and in truth. So we come boldly before the throne of grace because we understand, we know that Jesus Christ is Lord, that he died and rose again. He did something that none of us would ever be able to do, not in the past, not in the present, and not in the future. Only Jesus was able to lay down his life and pick it up again because God gave him that. He gave him that. He is the son of the living God who died and rose. I mean, if we really honestly believe that a man was sent from heaven, that God sent his word from heaven and cased it in flesh, this is a miracle. If we really believe that, that this child was born without a natural father, a father from the earth, but born from above, this is a miracle. If we really believe that Jesus Christ died, he, they stripped him and they beat him and they whipped him. He died. But he laid down in that grave. And just like he said he would get up in three days, he got up again on the third day. This is a miracle. And all we have to do is concentrate on these things. I know that we have all these situations and all these circumstances, but I'm telling you, the Father of heaven and earth has set a table before us in the presence of our enemies. And the enemy is not just going to go away. We've got to know our God. And if we know him, if we delight ourselves in the knowledge of who he is, and I'm telling you, you'll feel the power of the Holy Spirit living on the inside of you. It's surging through your heart out of your mouth and he defeats the will of the enemy in your life his will is to steal kill and destroy but the father's will for our lives is that we would have life and have it to the full that's why he's given us his son he wants to show off through us the life that he has intended for the whole entire world and why does he want to show that off through each and every one of us because he's not willing that any man should perish. It's not, he doesn't want mankind to go into the lake of fire. He wants all the whole world to be saved through his son, Jesus Christ. The Lord loves us. He knows exactly how to keep us in perfect peace. As we don't take hold of anxiety and don't take care of, hold of fear or any type of stress. In no type of trauma, we understand that the evil one has a plan to kill, steal, and destroy. But God's plan is not like that. We stand on the side of the one who created everything. And it's all by faith. It's all by faith. Even if we believe in what we feel, if we believe in what we see, if we believe what we hear, that's faith. Faith. Hebrews 11, without faith, it's impossible to please God because those who come to him must believe that he is. And he rewards those who diligently, earnestly come after him. His, his agape love is poured out into our hearts by the Holy Spirit. That unconditional love that doesn't hate anyone, but loves all people. And we, we seek his face and we know his name. And he has a word for that situation. He has a way of escape for the situation. He has a, has a healing for the situation. He wants to lift us up and empower us to do great things so that he is known. He is working in us and to us and through us because 
We love him. We don't deny him access to the throne of our heart. My mind, will, and emotions, I, I, it belongs to him. Take communion every day. Take, take that bread and take that cracker. Take the, um, the water or the juice, whatever you got, and use it. Commit your body to God. Anything that we are doing that is sinful, it, it, it will get out of you. It has to leave. You'll command it to leave. You get strength from above, from God Almighty. You get strength from the Holy Spirit. It was living in you to defeat that enemy. But we must be sold out in our hearts to Him. He is the living God who's given us His Son, who's given us His Spirit. This is the guarantee of our salvation, the guarantee of our everlasting life. We're sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. He teaches us all things from the inside out. You just listen. We walk by faith and not by sight, not by what we feel, not by what we see, not by the idioms of the world, by the Word of God. He'll transform our heart and mind. He'll lead us in paths of righteousness, in the right path. For his name's sake. Okay. Psalm 23. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for he is with me. You are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. They comfort me. I got Jesus. I got the Holy Spirit. I got the Word of God in my heart. And this is my comfort. The Lord has set a table before us in the presence of our enemy. And that table that he set before us is, is good things. It's this word. This word becomes fruit in our inner man. Our soul it gets taken over by the word. And I, and I mean, it's a good thing. And you can feel the love of God in you. That, that love is the first fruit of the spirit. It's the fruit of the spirit. That love, it, this... Uh, how do you say it? I guess I have to go to the word for that one. But God who is faithful in his house knows when we have given him. So he knows the thoughts and the intentions of our heart, of our mind. He knows what's going on with us. And that's why we have to be wide open before him. That's why we have to, have to lay out our heart before him. And take no anxious thought, but in all of our ways acknowledge him. For he is faithful and he is true. Love. Chapter 20, uh, Galatians chapter 5, verse 22. But the Spirit produces love, joy, this is the Holy Spirit living in us, teaching us all things. You think that this wasn't nothing compared to what this world says how to handle life. When the news comes in the mail or the news comes from the doctor, when the news comes, however it comes and whatever it is, it doesn't matter. Whatever it is to get you excited and off track. When we submit ourselves to God, we are given the power, the knowledge, the wisdom of God in the matter. And we are able to resist the enemy. You know, what does that got to do with what the Spirit produces? This comes and you're not hateful, you're not bitter, you're not envious. You have an understanding. And this is the this is the like this is the first fruit that is in us. That love of God is poured out in our hearts. And because of this love, there's joy in this love, and there's peace in this love, and there's patience in this love, and there's kindness in this love, and there's goodness in this love, there's faithfulness in this love, there's humility or or mercy and self-control in this love. And we don't hate anybody. We hate sin. 
but we don't hate people. And we live and, and, and walk with the Holy Spirit. Therefore, we won't fulfill the lust of our own flesh in that person, for that person, that hatred, bitterness, and envy. We won't be tripped up and fall into illness and, and de death and disease because we follow the Spirit of God. We listen for God's love. I was reading in 1 John that God is love, chapter 4, verse 8. God is love. And if God's love, and His love is in us. We can perfectly grow in the knowledge of His will. We can perfectly sit down and, and just meditate on Him. And know who He is. And see the salvation of the Lord Jesus in our lives. See the salvation and the freedom that His arm has brought us. Submit yourself to God today. And give glory to Him. The Spirit has given us life. He must also control our lives. <laughs> That's in verse 25. The Good News Translation. The Spirit has given us life and must also control our lives. That's a good one. God is faithful in His house to restore our souls. To make us what we are in him. He, he's already made us what we are. I mean, we are already what we are in him. We just don't have the revelation because we've been giving ourselves to the situation. One last time. Let me finish Psalm 23. He's put a table before us in the presence of our enemy. He anoints my head with oil. My cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy will follow me all, all the days of my life, and I will be in the house of the Lord forever. This is the love we have for him. We have opened our heart wide, opened our mouth wide to him, and allowed him to pour his life into us. This is what Jesus will do. He said that he came into this world, that the world will be saved through him. We are saved through Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Uh, and here's the song again, Be Magnified. I've made you too small in my eyes. Oh Lord, forgive me. And I've been and I believed in a lie that you were unable to help me. But now, O oh Lord, I see my wrong. Heal my heart and show yourself strong. And in my eyes and in my song, O oh Lord, be magnified. Be magnified, O Lord. You are highly exalted. And there is nothing you can't do. O Lord, my eyes are on you. O Lord, be magnified. I have leaned on the wisdom of men. O Lord, forgive me. And I have responded to them instead of your light and mer your mercy. But now, O Lord, I, I see my wrong. Heal my heart and show yourself strong. And in my eyes and with my song. Oh Lord, be magnified. You can look for that song on the internet. But we have relied on the wisdom of men, on people, on ourselves. And we have to say, Oh Lord, forgive me. I responded to them instead of your light and your mercy. But now, Oh Lord, I see my wrong. Forgive me and help me. Show yourself strong. Help me to build up, O oh, Father God, in the name of Jesus and my most holy faith. And speak in those tongues uh, that you've given us, the tongues of love, of adoration towards you. And let it be known today that we are your children. Strengthen us in the inner man by your spirit, Lord. And give us that faith, that let that faith that Jesus has in his, as he walked in this earth and he redeemed us. He laid his life down and he picked it up again, Father. That faith that love does so much, Father. Let that faith be in us, in every situation and circumstance, that we may do your will in this earth as it is in heaven. And we give you praise. But we have made your workmanship created in Christ Jesus. Show yourself strong today and strengthen us, Father. 
and give us perfect peace. We love you. This is Pastor Cheryl Jackson. I get the word in your face internationally. Get the word in your face and have an awesome day. Bye-bye.